right, everybody, welcome back. <laughs> we're uh, continuing season five, and we're on episode three. So, John was elected Lord Commander. Lord Commander. Arya is in now. Uh, Arya went to the House of Black and White. And met Jack and Hagar. Uh, Daenerys is doing Daenerys things. Oh, she uh, executed that dude. Oh, yeah, she executed that young man. That, which is confusing to me, but, you know. Yeah, you weren't too happy about that. No. She was stupid for that. Yeah. Stannis is being Stannis. Crazy Witch is being the Crazy Witch. Uh, Brienne ran into Sansa mm-hmm. and Littlefinger. And of course, okay. Littlefinger turned her against her. Uh, that's about all I remember. It's been a few days since we watched the episode. So. Let's, yeah. Let's see what's in store for season, uh, episode three. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do it. From this day until your last day, you are Ramsay Bolton, son of Roose Bolton. I'm a bastard. Kneel before me, and you'll rise again as John Stark, Lord of Winterfell. The 998th Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. <laughs> yeah. Hello, piss. I want to be coming back with the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> A raven scroll. My marriage proposal has been accepted. You think she's safe with Littlefinger? We'll follow them. Cersei has offered a lordship to the man who brings her your head. Oh, I forgot about Tyrion riding in a, car- in a carriage. Themselves sparrows. I found peace in the light of the seven. You can too. You betrayed me. Forget. You sold my secrets. I do not want you in my city. Hmm. And that is who we must become. Mm-hmm. Huh? I'm just counting the what's it called? It is. Count the what? Well, the places. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. Winterfell's not burning anymore. No, it's not. I don't think I ever seen Moat. Moat Kaelin? Yeah. Yeah, it's that place that Ramsey took Theon to and had all the Uh, Ironborn killed. Oh, okay. Bravos. Got the yawns. <laughs> Who taught her how to sleep? She just knows. <laughs> That's that me just. She just got like her rubbing it over the ground. Like that guy that was doing the vacuum outside. Oh, yeah. Looking at the vacuum in the sidewalk. Yeah. I've been sweeping this floor for days. Hmm. I didn't come here to sweep. Why come then? You said you'd teach me how to be a faceless man. A man teaches a girl. While I do iris, all men must serve. Faceless men, most of all. Hmm. I want to serve. A girl wants to serve herself. Mm-hmm. A girl mm-hmm. must become no one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And die drinking the water. Yeah. I'd be going thirsty. <laughs> boxes huh I said those little boxes yeah I'd hate to be the one carrying them I am his and she is mine I ain't mess around getting married did you mess around at all now when she gonna get married cause this is Marjorie's second wedding still say ain't gonna marry nobody especially since Tywin's dead that was his idea. She wasn't for it anyway. <laughs> well, she could have not had him marry her, too. You know? Yeah, that's true. They need our money. Hmm. Well. And supplies. I mean, seriously, this boy is, what, 13? 13, 14 years old? Get that. 
You were lovely. Did you hurt her? I'm so fast. Yes. You so so fast. You're very sweet. The sweetest king who ever lived. Oh, is that a fat yes? All day, every day, for the rest of my life. That's <laughs> all he wanted to do it all. <laughs> most, teenage, most teenage boys, that's all they want to do. Once they do it. Yes, once you get the taste of it, you was like, oh, this every day. I want to know everything there is to know about King Tommen, first of his name. <laughs> Queen Marjorie sounds strange to you. No, because that's the house you want. You're full of crap. <laughs> Sometimes it feels odd. Yes, the beautiful smell. I've yeah. married the most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> it's all because my brother died. Thank goodness. I think we're going to be very happy, you and I. <laughs> of course, my grandmother couldn't wait to go home. The capital's not for everyone, I suppose. Does your so I've been in Texas and she told me never to trust in Austin. So wonderful to have her watching over you, a lioness guarding her cub. But I'm a man now. <laughs> He's a man now. Well, technically. But you'll always be her baby boy. Yeah, like the sound of that. And the horror she's had to endure. You're such a liar. Margaret's good at that line. It's no wonder she's so protective of you. She'll never let you out of her sight. <laughs> you look very much in love. Land on the ground, work, huh? Trying to get it in his head that his mother needs to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. She thinks she's intelligent. I can't quite tell. Do you ever miss Carl City Rock? She thinks she's intelligent. Is that what she said? Do you think she's in? Yeah, yes, and he thought she was intelligent because she can't quite tell. Why are we speaking of Castle Rock? I always thought that you missed it. I want you to be happy, Mother. I know that. Hmm. I know you do. My sweet boy. But wouldn't you be happier in Castle Rock? We won't send her away. Mother! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't you look lovely? Marriage agrees with you. Can we bring you anything to eat or drink? I wish we had some wine for you. It's a bit early in the day for us. <laughs> what is that? Call her a drunk. <laughs> a little, sh a little shade. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you're happy. Ecstatic. I really am. I'll leave you to it then. <laughs> she, she want to tell her off so bad. What's the proper way to address you now? Queen Mother or Dowager Queen? Uh huh? There's no need for such formalities. Remember, anything you need. She gonna kill you. <laughs> she gonna kill you. Ah, <laughs> uh, she already, the wheels are turning. Yeah. She want her dead. She gonna kill her dead like she did her husband. Really? One crow on each thing? Got a t two men? <laughs> oh, dang, he ain't skinned the people? Dang, on. Yeah. He evil. That's a woman. Wow. God dang. The dog. <laughs> I sent you there to collect taxes, not bodies. Lord Cowan refused to pay. I don't like him. I really don't like him. I have him. something important to tell you. Stop eating and listen. Really? Yeah. Freaking wit. We don't have enough men to hold the north if the other houses rise up against us. So let somebody kill you. Alliances with other houses. The best way to forge a lasting alliance, the best way is marriage. Hmm. Now that you're a Bolton by royal decree, it's high time you married a suitable bride. Hmm. I found the perfect girl to solidify our hold on the north. Hey, you know, for real, little finger gonna do that. You dumb bush of the wood with Brian. That's Mick Kalen. Yes. Where are you taking me? Home. The hmm. Boltons have Winterfell. Your marriage proposal, it wasn't for you. No. Should have went with Brienne. Bruce Bolton murdered my brother. He betrayed my family. He serves the Lannisters. I won't go. Hmm. Can't marry him. You can't make me. He is a traitor, a murderer. You're not marrying Bruce Bolton. No, you'll be marrying his son and heir, Ramsay. Sansa. No, you can't make me. I will starve myself. I will die before I have to go there. I won't force you to do anything. <laughs> I know how much I care for you. Nope. You care, care for yourself. <laughs> Stop running. I hate this dickhead. There's no justice in the world. 
Not unless we make it. You loved your family. Avenge them. Hmm. I'm like, I don't care about avenging them. <laughs> Somebody need to kill little finger. When he gonna die? Look at him. She can so she's so easily ma manipulated and everything. Yeah. Heck, Arya more mature than she is, and she she younger than her. How do we get through there? We don't. We go around. I know where they're going. Mm hmm. Aren't you getting a bit old to be a squire? Girl, leave that boy alone. <laughs> you end up squiring for the imp. He hates that nickname. Well, he's not here to complain about it, is he? Mm hmm. I squired for a knight named Solorama during the War of the Five Kings. One night, he had a bit too much to drink, and he was famished, so he borrowed a hand. So he was a thief. <laughs> Next morning, one of the guards saw him passed out under a wagon with the hand bone still in his hand. <laughs> Lord Tywin heard my family name was Payne, so he pardoned me and sent me to King's Landing to squire for his son. That's punishment for both of you. It didn't seem that way. Yes, all your lords have been very kind to you. All except me. Yeah, because you mean... You beat the hound. I'm proud to be your squire. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm always snapping at you. Mm. If you didn't snap at me, I wouldn't learn anything. You want to be a knight pod? Yes. Starting tomorrow, we'll train with a sword twice a day. And I'm going to show you how to ride properly. Thank you. <laughs> I can't knight you, but I can teach you how to fight. Well, I suppose that's more important. How did you end up serving, Renly? When I was a girl, my father held a ball. He invited dozens of young lords to Tarth. And it was wonderful. None of the boys noticed how mulish and tall I was. <laughs> I'd never been so happy till I saw a few of the boys sniggering. <laughs> they were toying <laughs> with me. Brienne the beauty, they called me. And I realized I was the ugliest girl alive. You're not ugly. She tall. Mm. <laughs> That's a huge... <laughs> I tried to run away, but Renly Baratheon took me in his arms. He danced with me and none of the other boys could say a word. Renly was the king's brother, after all. But... Wasn't he a pillow? Yes, Pod, like men. Let's... I'm not an idiot. He saved me from being <laughs> a joke. When he was a... Mm. You're right, when he... um. And I couldn't save him in return. One day I will avenge King Renly. And Stannis killed his own brother so he could be king. Yeah. And he ain't no closer to anybody else. Lord Commander. You're crazy. Hey, you to my alone. And you got your guy. Mm -hmm. What's that? Darbos? Debos. Debos. Have you considered my offer? I have. And I thank you for it. You do me great honor. All my life, I wanted to be John Stark. Say the word and you will be. Hmm. No. But I have to refuse you. I'm Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. My place is here. I'm giving you the chance to avenge your family. He could do it without you. He could do it without you. Rule the North. Shut up, Stannis. But I swore a sacred vow at the Godswood. I pledged my life to the Night's Watch. You're as stubborn as your father. Well. Yeah. And as honorable. I can imagine no higher praise. I didn't mean it as praise. Yes, you do. May I ask your grace how long you plan to stay at Castle Black? Are you bored of us already? Yep. Sure he is. The Night's Watch can't continue to feed your men and the wildling prisoners indefinitely. Winter is coming. We march on Winterfell within the fortnight before the snows trap us here. I'm glad Stan is sleeping. I assume the brothers of the Night's Watch would rather see the wildlings dead. Most of the brothers, yes. You have many enemies in Castle Black. Have you considered sending Alice a thorn elsewhere? I heard it was best to keep your enemies close. Whoever said that didn't have many enemies. <laughs> he sees something in you. I'm sorry I disappointed him. Well, you didn't fall in behind him. Why you gonna stay? One thing, he ain't no king. He's the one true king. Whatever. I've sworn to stay clear of the politics of the Seven Kingdoms. How do you know? How does the Night's Watch vow go again? Night gathers and now my watch begins. No, not that bit. The bit at the end. <laughs> I am the sword in the darkness. The watcher on the walls. The shield that guards the realms of men. The shield that guards the realms of men. That's what you swore to be. Now, I'm not a learned man, but the best way to help the most people might not be sitting in a frozen castle at the edge of the world. He said... What you call them people who can talk their way out of anything? As long as the Boltons rule the North, the North will suffer. Just one man's opinion. 
But I thought you said he was the king. Can't nobody rule the, with the seven rams. Because mm-hmm. Stannis is, according to you. Who are you? What? You, who walk in here with a coin you never earned, whose value you do not respect. Girl, get out of my face. <laughs> who are you? No one. Ow! Cunt! A lie. <laughs> Girl! <laughs> Told you I'm not... Do that! Oh, beat it down. Who are you? Girl! What are you doing? We were only playing the game of faces. That girl is not ready. I am ready. <laughs> you about to find out. To be a faceless man. To be no one. I'll be her to you. You hear me? Skull tracker. Aya Stark's sword, Aya Stark's clothes, Aya Stark's stolen silver. A man wonders, how is it that no one came to be surrounded by Aya Stark's things? Hmm. Girl, I'll bust you. i bust her upside of here. I'm sorry. <laughs> like she said, you about to find out, baby. <laughs> Just gonna get rid of your stuff, girl. <laughs> she got on a dress. Mm-mm. I know one thing. That girl... We'd be fine every day. <laughs> every day. She said, you can't. <laughs> She's a hard C on that one. Mm-hmm. Emphasize the NT. <laughs> she, <said laughs> she emphasized that. <laughs> Stick must hurt. <laughs> That's what her father gave her. Oh, John gave that to her. Oh. I ain't throwing this away. Save it for later. I hope nobody saw you put it there. But I bust a girl upside her face. You know that, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you a sneaky little man. Or he's about to go in there and find out what's going on. <laughs> She's going to go in there whether he came along or not. Yeah, I'll bust you upside your head. I'm sorry, that'll be in my belly. <laughs> that not want to hit her. Like, so bad. What are we doing? About to clean them up? Yes. What do we do with them after we wash them? Now you ain't got no tongue. Go ahead, lots say early. <laughs> Open gate! Hmm. Hold up. Hmm. Oh, that's his wife. The other lady. The, his wife. Yeah. Lady Sansa. Welcome. Lord Bolton. May I introduce my son? Mm-mm. Ramsey Bolton. She said, I want to put a driver sword through your heart. Hello. Pick a her. I'll bring you a bowl of hot water. Thank you. Welcome home, Lady Stark. The North remembers. So this Winterfell? Mm-hmm. Winterfell? Really? Sam. Mr. Raymond? He apologizes for not being here. He's not feeling well. Take good care of him. Brothers, as you all know too well, it's long past time to dig a new latrine pit. <laughs> Hmm. The Yarwick and I have decided to appoint a latrine captain to oversee this crucial task. Hmm. Ryan, seems like a good job for a ginger. <laughs> hmm. He like, he better not pick me. You have more experience than any other ranger at Castle Black. I name you first ranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what? Lord Janice, I'm giving you Commander Greyguard. Greyguard is a ruin. Restore it as best you can. First builder Yarwick can spare ten of I was charged with the defense of King's Landing when you were soiling your swaddling clothes. Keep your ruin. Hmm. You mistake me, my lord. That was a command, not an offer. Hmm. I will not go meekly off to freeze and die. I will not have it! Did you hear me, boy? I will not have it! Somebody gonna kill you. Obey my order. 
Kill him. I'm just saying. Kill him. Kill order up your bastard ass. Oh, what the what? Look at here. Take Lord Janice outside. Uh, Oi, bring me my sword. Uh, look, 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 look. What? What you afraid now? What you afraid now? Uh, move your little funky butt out the way. Huh. You thought he was going to protect you? Hmm, he thought he was. One thing about Thorn, like, he may not agree, but he'll follow orders for you. fight me. But we ain't fight you. I have friends, important friends in the capital. But they sent you out here. Tyrion sent him down there. Man, they ain't come looking for him. Still gonna kill this man for real. If he do, come on, honey. Come on. Do it. Look here. If you have any last words, my lord, now's the time. <laughs> Don't kill me. I'm sorry. Not only for this, for all I've done, it's said. Oh. No, pawn. Uh, you, too bad. My lord, please, mercy. Mercy. I'll go. I will. Mm -mm. Can't, can't show weakness, John. No. Gotta do it. Come on, John. Being afraid. <laughs> I'll solve you. I'll... Kill him. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's for killing them babies. That's right. <laughs> no mercy. Look at him. Yeah. It's like... Yeah. You got balls. Okay. Who the heck is this? That's the priest. What priest? They want to be marrying everybody. You have served us well. Are you freaking serious? Today. The maiden and the stranger. Two is extra, you realize. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh my god. What are you doing? I am the high septum of the You are a sinner. Sinner, <laughs> <laughs> <Die? laughs> sinner. Lord have mercy. Sit on you. Sit. Sit. Dying. <laughs> what the? An assault on my person is an assault on our very religion. You were assaulted. I was by those fanatics who call themselves sparrows. <laughs> A man's private affair <sighs> ought to stay private. Oh. What do you want from us, Hysept? Justice. I ask that you protect our faith by arresting these criminals and throwing them in the black cells. I don't think this is a good idea, Your Grace. Nonsense, Samarin. These are deeply religious people. Where can I find the High Sparrow? There you go. They don't clean themselves? I mean, like, what? what's going on? I don't know. They look like sickly. They're part of the homeless and the weak. And... Oh. The young man said I'd find the High Sparrow back here. Where is he? High Sparrow. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? <laughs> that woman like, you want to move out the way? Well, I tell them no one's special, and they think I'm special for telling them so. The gods sent you here to tempt me. You'd only come here to arrest me for that incident with the High Septum. Hypocrisy is a boil. Lancing a boil is never pleasant. True. <laughs> yeah, it's true. The High Septum came to speak to me today. He doesn't want me to arrest you. He wants me to execute you. I wouldn't presume to know your thoughts on the matter. Mm -hmm. My thoughts on the matter are in line with your own. The High Septon's behavior was corrosive, as was his attitude. Mm. Faith and the crown are the two pillars that hold up this world. One collapses, so does the other. Ah, oh, there go her sneakiness. Yep. She's gonna be in cahoot with him to get the queen away from her son. What are you doing with this How's your work coming along? Very well. You've made progress? More than I expected. Still a way to go, but very good. I'll leave you to it then. It's like that big old man. To... Yeah. Easy, friend. Is he not there? <laughs> hmm. She really is lovely. I've become quite fond of Lady Sansa during our travels together. I'll never hurt her. You have my word. Hmm. Think so. He's so evil. I've heard very little about you, which makes you quite a rare thing. Lords go. Allow me a moment alone with Lord Baelish. 
That's fine. Hmm. He better not. I'm telling you, he better not be mean to my, my girl. You hear me? Tyrion never consummated the marriage. By the law of the land, she is no man's wife. A message for you from Cersei Lannister. A message from me, you say. Strange that the seal is broken. I'm sure you understand my position, Lord Baelish. I'd like to borrow one of your birds. Cersei will expect a reply. I'd like to read the reply. Can he die? Can both of them die, please? Oh, my God. Yeah, is he going crazy? He's wallowing in self-pity. Yeah, because he killed the, his daddy? I guess. I think. I have to get out of this real house. He's going to start crazy is what he's doing. <laughs> I can't remember the last face I saw that wasn't yours. It's a perfectly good face. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can understand that because I go, because being on that cruise and we was on sea for two days, three days, I can do that. Those turkeys, and he rode in a box with holes in it. Hmm. Yeah, that make him stare crazy. <laughs> we should keep moving. Hi, Jaime Easting. Spilonte, Seor's Bate. The priest we had in King's Landing was Thoros of Mir. This one's much better looking. Daria Zaltrizzotti. We're going to meet the savior. You should have told me. Who doesn't want to meet the savior? <laughs> Let's find a brothel. <laughs> back to the brothel, Tom. Huh? Now you need to go back to the box. Oh, Lord Jesus. The mother of dragons. <laughs> it appears you're not the only Targaryen supporter. I mean, she did have on the blue thing, but she had on pants or something up on hers. Someone who inspires priests and whores is worth taking seriously. <laughs> Dude, we finally found him. If I could pick any girl here, I would pick you. Why? Because you have a skeptical mind. Come on. Dude. Uh, Are you gonna cry? I'm sorry, I can't. Believe me, no one is more shocked than I am. I hope it passes. Your daddy finally got you to stop messing with prostitutes. Mm -hmm. He's always peeing off stuff. Mm, somebody gonna throw him off that time. No need to worry. I was just... Oh. Well, you're someone else. Mm-mm. Made some kind of mistake. Why don't you tell me what you think you're doing? I'm taking you to the queen. All about money with him. So in the end, he showed his true self. All about money with him. That's crazy. That's me. She stayed in the carriage. He over there boohoo crying. Now he going. He was over there boohoo crying. Because well, everybody else sleeping with the queen that really ain't the queen. And now you want you, you want some money. What the money gonna do for you? What she gonna give you? I mean, really. And Marjorie is the queen. Mm -hmm. So you must. Know, he ain't in the know now. Marjorie is the queen. So, okay. So, great episode. Um, Tommen is married to Marjorie now. Yeah, she got her wish. She's finally She's the, finally the queen. queen. I told you them religious folks. Yeah. Them religious folks, something else. Hmm. The fanatics. The fanatics nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> They fanatics now. Sansa's not in a good spot. <laughs> no, she's I don't not. Trust them Boltons. At all. I just don't want to bother on the fan had to you know what he does. No. Is he like really hate that family, the Stark family? Like he said. No, he he's I don't know. He's doing his poly he's doing his shady deals and stuff, but 
he don't know about Ramsey. Like he said, he's talking to Toad Ramsey. He's like, I don't know much about you. Mm. So they don't really know. You know, so his so dad is. is. Yeah, so it's, I mean, his dad ain't no better. You ain't trustworthy. I'm just looking at it. The dad is not trustworthy because yeah. he stabbed, you know. He just don't know that Ramsey's a freaking psychopath. They both are, really. Yeah. Well, I think Ramsey's more of a psychopath than his dad. You know, he'd be just yeah, he, he getting them people left and right. He's like a serial killer. That's yeah. what he is. He's a serial killer. But this is a good episode, so. Yeah, it kind of set up some stuff. So Tyrion got kidnapped or well, got captured by Jorah. Jorah need to go get a life. <laughs> He get on my dog on nerves. He's one of them self-pity people. Yeah. Let me just tell her, okay, I did what I did. I apologize. She didn't accept my apology. She kicked me out. Okay, well, let me go go on to, you know, do the... But he over there at the bar crying. Look like he ain't had no bath. And I don't know. Hey, since Brian. he left. Brian hadn't. I mean, like, for real. And then your, your buddy got his head chopped off. Yes. I'm glad Jon Snow did not show any mercy. I'm very glad about that because he had to be a being Lord Commander. He had to be a man of his word, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And you take some popcorn. <laughs> that that uh, who, what was the guy name that he killed? Janice Smith. Janice. Janice. Janice or something like that. I would say Janice. That's a girl name. Janice Smith. Anyway, he the one. Uh, and all them babies came back and got him. Yep, sure did. And then, I, and he's a he's a, uh, uh, a coward. He a coward. And even if he says, "Show me mercy, show me mercy," and he showed would have shown him mercy, he still would have gone behind him and always questioning his uh, John Snow's mm-hmm. leadership. That's how people are, because I seen people like and that. And he, he thought in the world. he thought he could stand behind that one dude, Alistair, and he was going to protect him. Yeah, he, thought, he didn't stand behind him. That guy got up and stood in front of him like he was like he was going to protect him. Yeah, and he's like, nope. See you later. Yeah, what's the surprise now? Well, no, I didn't want surprise that he stood up for him. It's like you know these people who. They they got the biggest bark when you got somebody beside you sitting up there yeah. echoing what you're saying. Yeah. Right? That's how that guy is. Yeah, he's a little chihuahua. Yeah. With a pit bull next to him. Because <laughs> yeah, anytime he could have killed uh, Jon Snow, he could have sent Jon Snow out to be killed. He could have gave him the latrine. Yeah. He could have gave him the latrine captain and all that stuff. But he didn't. So hopefully he follows Jon Snow's he follows the rules. He was elected Lord Commander, so I gotta follow you. Yeah. But that one that got his head chopped off, he he was bad news. I'm sorry. He was a person who will always keep commotion and division going. That's who he was. So mm-hmm. oh I'm scared. I'm scared. I've always been scared. You know that because you were hidden head in the corner of a yeah. storage room. Yeah, but right. but thank you for acknowledging who you take accountability for who you really was in front of everybody. Thank you, but chop. <laughs> That's all I can say. Chop. Okay. You know, but that's sure that, a lot of a lot of them are scared. Yeah, who ain't yeah. scared? But but for you to kill babies, I mean, you took that baby from their mother's breast as she was feeding that child. And so he did that. Mm-hmm. He did that himself. Yep. A child, a baby, a baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Another rough episode. Yeah. So you got what you got, boo. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, you got what you got. Yeah. It is what it is. What they say, it is what it is. Boo, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that was a good uh, episode. Thank you guys for coming on this journey with us. And as always, if this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button, thumbs up, and like and comment. All right, until next time. Bye-bye.